fraudulent things spouting out of the Church of Scientology is them taking glory for volunteer ministers, which are a group of people who supposedly show up in some worldwide disaster. Most imperative was the need to provide salvage programs for the irreducible bottom line of human needs. And of course, the first of those programs, the one that runs where the rubber meets the road in terms of actually saving lives, that's our volunteer ministers. After which, the other adjectives attached to volunteer ministers were words like legendary, heroic, and larger than life. Hence came the release of the VM Handbook, and for the record, it was the first Scientology publication translated into 15 languages and immediately became the most studied course in our history. Do you think that the church pays for these people to go there? Not at all. I would get called numerous times. Karen, Katrina, we've got five people that'll go. Can you pay their airfare? Can you pay their hotel? So new money is gouged and raised. The church is in pain, one dime. The volunteer minister is supposed to pay his own hotel, his own effe and his own food. And the church takes the glory of the photo ops to show people at these intervents that they are this global humanitarian organization helping out the world and the planet in time of disaster. I was quite appalled to read an essay recently posted by Teresa Marx. She went on one of these volunteer minister events and she said she cringed and blushed at how flagrantly a Scientology minister flirted with a local police guy, put on a police helmet and posed for that Kodak moment with gold photographers trying to show the incredible goodness done and it's just photo ops. There's almost no teeth, there's no benefit, there's no, there's no follow-up, no, no. All it is is pictures of some locals. Sometimes they're just forced to put on a Scientology yellow shirt and pose. Oh, there we were in Nepal doing 25 touch assists on 32 monks in this monastery. Look, we're global. It's deception. It's lies. It's propaganda. And it's photo ops to raise more money. You know, talking about photo ops, I wonder why. I wonder. Why has Miscavige never done a photo op of himself with Louis Farrakhan, who openly promotes Scientology and Dianetics for his Nation of Islam converts? No photo ops. In fact, you never see David Miscavige with anyone of any political clout. Have you ever seen David Miscavige pose with a senator, a congressman? Not even a local federal prosecutor, not an attorney general. The highest David Miscavige has ever posed with is a sheriff of the Los Angeles Police Department, disgraced Lee Baca, who's been shunted off the lines for his scandals. That's interesting. David Miscavige that craves photo ops couldn't get himself photographed beyond Tom Cruise. Never see David Miscavige with anyone 
who has any sphere of influence, a Nobel Prize winner, a physicist, an astronaut, someone who's contributed greatly. No, not at all. Lee Baca. David Miscavige calls volunteer ministers a sector, a drug sector, Narcanon, a volunteer minister sector, meaning this is a whole branch or division of what the Church of Scientology stands for. And volunteer ministers is pure scam, pure and utter scam. They do nothing. Did you see this picture of people in Haiti? Days after an earth-shattering earthquake, they're parading down the street with happy faces for gold photo ops. Who on earth, with their country in rubbles and people still locked down under cement, would be marching down a main street with happy faces? The deception gold photographers are sent out to photograph for fluff and froth, just another Scientology Inc. outright deception. It really is, Scientology Inc. is synonymous with fraud, bogus claims, lies, and photo ops.